Okay, we're back with theCUBE's continuous coverage of HPE's latest GreenLake announcement, the continuous cadence that we're seeing here. You know, when you're trying to figure out how to optimize workloads, it's getting more and more complex. Data-driven workloads are coming in to the scene, and so how do you know with confidence how to configure your systems, keep your costs down, and get the best performance and value for that? So we're going to talk about that. With me are Chris Shin, who's the founder of Cloud Physics and the senior director of HPE Cloud Physics, and Sandeep Singh, who's the vice president of storage marketing. Gents, great to see you, welcome. Dave, it's a pleasure to be here. So let's talk about the problem first, Sandeep, if we could. What are you guys trying to solve? What are you hearing from customers when they talk to you about their workloads and optimizing their workloads? Yeah, Dave, that's a great question. Overall, what customers are asking for is just to simplify their world. They want to be able to go faster. A line of business is asking IT, let's go faster. Uh, one of the things that cloud got right is that overall cloud operational experience that's bringing agility to organizations. Uh, we've been on this journey of bringing this cloud operational agility to customers uh, for their data state, especially with uh, HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform. Right. And uh, we're doing that with, you know, powering that with data-driven intelligence. Um, across the board, we've been transforming that operational support experience with HPE InfoSight. And what's uh, incredibly exciting is now we're talking about how we can transform that experience in that upfront IT procurement portion of the process. Uh, you asked me what are customers asking about in terms of how to optimize those workloads. And when you think about what cust when customers are purchasing infrastructure to support their app workloads, today it's still in, in the dark ages. Uh, they're operating on heuristics or gut feel. Uh, the data-driven insights are just missing. And with this incredible complexity across the full stack, how do you figure out where should I be placing my apps, whether on-prem or in the public cloud, and or what's that right size infrastructure built upon what are actually, what's actually being consumed in terms of resource utilization across the board? Um, that's where we see a tremendous opportunity to continue to transform the experience for customers now with data-driven insights for smarter IT decisions. You know, Chris, uh, Sandeep's right, it's like, <clears throat> it's like tribal knowledge. <laughs> well, well, Kenny would know how to do that, right. but Kenny doesn't work here anymore. So you've announced cloud physics. Let's tell us more about what that is, what impact it's going to have for customers. Sure, so uh, just as Sandeep said, um, basically what the problem that exists in IT today is you've got a bunch of customers that are getting overwhelmed with more and more options to solve their business problems. They're looking at cloud options, they're looking at new technologies, they're looking at new sub-technologies, and the level at which people are competing for infrastructure sales is down at the very, very, you know, splitting hairs level in terms of features. And they don't know how much of these they need to acquire. Then on the other side, you've got partners and vendors who are trying to package up solutions and products to serve these people's needs. And while the IT industry has for decades done a good job of automating problems out of other, tech, other technology spaces, hasn't done a good job of automating their own problems in terms of what does this customer need, how do I best service them? So you've got an unsatisfied customer and an, and an inadequately um, equipped partner. Cloud Physics brings those two together in a common data platform so that both those customers and their partners can look at the same set of data that came out of their data center and pick the solutions that will solve their problems most efficiently. So talk more about the partner angle. Sure. Because it sounds like, you know, if they don't have a Kenny, they, they really need some help. And, and it's got to be repeatable, it's got to be consistent. So how are partners reacting to this? Very, very strongly. Over the course of, um, over the, course of the four or five years that, that Cloud Physics has been doing this in market, we've had thousands and thousands of VARs, SIs, and others, as well as many of the biggest technology providers in the market today use cloud physics to help speed up and speed up the sales process, but also uh, create better and more satisfied customers. So you guys and made, oh go ahead please. Well I was just going to chime into that. When you think about partners, the, with HPE Cloud Physics where it supports you know, heterogeneous data center environments, partners all of a sudden get this opportunity to be much more strategic to their customers. Mm -hmm. They're operating on r real world insights that are specific to that customer's environment. So now they can really have a tailored conversation as well as offer tailored solutions 
designed specifically for the areas that, you know, where help is needed. Well, I think it, it builds an affinity with the, the customer as well, because if you, the, the partner's the trusted advisor. If you give a customer some advice, and it's kind of the wrong advice, hey, we got to go back and reconfigure that workload, and we won't charge you that much for it. You're now paying twice, like when an accountant makes a mistake on your tax yep. return. You're like, hey, you got to pay for that again. But so you guys acquired Cloud Physics in February, of this year, what can you tell us about what's transpired since then? How many you know, engagements you've done? What kind of metrics can you share? Yeah, Chris, you want to weigh into that? Sure, sure. Um, the start of it really has been to create a bunch of customized analytics on the cloud physics platform to target specific sales motions that are relevant to HPE partners. So what, is, what do I mean by that? You might, you'll remember that in May we announced the Electra series, 6,000, 9,000. In tandem with that, Cloud Physics released a new set of analytics that helps someone who's interested in those technologies figure out what model might be best for them and how much of that, uh, how much um, uh, firepower they would need from one or the other of those solutions. Similarly, we have a bunch of solutions and, and a market strength in the HCI world, hyperconverged, and that's both SimpliVity and DHCI. And we've set up some analytics that specifically help someone who's interested in that form factor to accelerate and again pick the right solutions that'll serve their exact applications needs. When you talk to customers, are they able to give you a sense as to the, the, to the cost impacts? I mean, even if it's subjective, hey, we think we, you know, we, we save whatever, 10% uh, versus what, the way we used to do it, or more or less, I mean, just even gut feel metrics. So, so I'll start that one, Cindy. So there's sort of two, two ways to look at it. One thing is because we know everything that's currently running in the data center, we discover that, we have a pretty good cost of what it is costing them today to run their workloads. So anything that we compare that to, whether it's a transition to public cloud or a transition to a hosted VMware solution or a set of new infrastructure, we can compare their current costs to the specific solutions that are available to them. But on the more practical side of things, oftentimes customers know intuitively, this is a set of servers I bought four years ago, or this is an old array that I know is lose, it, it's not keeping up anymore. So they typically have some th fairly, fairly specific places to start, which gives that partner a quick win solving a specific customer problem, and then it can often boil out into the rest of the data center and, and continual optimization can occur. How unique is this? I mean, is it is, 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 you know, can, is, is there, can you give us a little glimpse of the secret sauce behind it? Is this <laughs> kind of table stakes for the industry? Yeah, I mean, look, it's unique in the sense that Cloud Physics brings along over 200 metrics across the spectrum of virtual machines and guest OSs, um, as well as the overall CPU and RAM utilization, uh, overall infrastructure analysis and built-in cloud simulators. So net-net, what customers are able to do is basically in real time be able to A, be aware of exactly what their environment looks like, B, be able to simulate uh, if they were going to move and give an application workload to the cloud. Uh, C, they're able to just right, opt, uh, right size the underlying infrastructure uh, across the board. Uh, Chris? Uh, well, I was going to say, yeah, along the same lines, there have been similar um, technology approaches to different problems. Most notably in the current HPE uh, portfolio, InfoSight, best in class, data lake driven, very highly analytical machine learning, geared pr predominantly toward an optimization model, right? Cloud Physics is earlier in the talk track with the customer. It's, we're going to analyze your environment where HPE may not even have a footprint today and then we're going to give you ideas of what products might help you based on very similar techniques but approaching a very different problem. So you've got data, you've got experience, uh, you, you, you know what best practice looks like, you get a sense as to the envelope as to what's achievable, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and that is just going to get better and better and better over time. Right. One of the things that, that I've said and we've said on theCUBE is that the cloud, the definition of cloud is changing. And it's expanding, it's not just public cloud anymore, some remote set of services, it's coming on-prem, there's a hybrid connection, we're going across clouds, we're going out to the edge, so can clouds, cloud physics help with that complexity? Yeah, absolutely, so we have a set of analytics in the cloud world that range from, we're going to price your on-premise IT, we also have the ability to simulate a transition of a set of workloads to AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. We also have uh, the ability to translate to VMware-based solutions on many of those public clouds. Um, and, and we're uh, increasingly spreading our, uh, uh, our umbrella over GreenLake as well, and, and showing the optimization opportunities for a GreenLake solution when contrasted with some of those other cloud scenarios. So, so really we're static. trying to give a lot of I mean, it. It's not static <laughs> at all, and Dave, you were mentioning earlier in terms of just proven, you know, cloud physics now has you know, operated on trillions of data points 
over millions of virtual machines with uh, across thousands of overall data assessments. So there's a lot of proven learnings through that as well as actual optimizations that customers have uh, benefited from. Yeah, so I mean, it's, 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 there's benchmarks, but it's more than that, because benchmarks tend to be static, okay? Mm -hmm. We can sort of do rule, rules of thumb. We're living in an age with a lot more data, a lot more machine intelligence, and so this is organic. It'll evolve. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah. the partners who, have, uh, who work with their customers on a regular basis over cloud physics and then build up a history over time of what's changing in their data center can even provide better service. They can look back over a year if we've been collecting and they can see what the operating system landscape has changed, how different workloads have lost popularity, how other ones have gained, and they really can become a much better solution provider to that customer the longer cloud physics. Yeah, it gives your well. partners a competitive advantage. It's mm -hmm. a much stickier model because the customer's going to trust your partner more if they get it right. And so we're not going to you know, change horses in, in the middle of the street. We're going to mm -hmm. go back to the partner that set us up and they keep getting better and better and better each time. We got a good cadence going. Mm -hmm. All right, Sadiq, bring us home. What, what's your sort of summary? How should we think about this going forward? Well, I'll you know, bring us right back to the way I started is end to end, uh, we're looking at how we continue to deliver best in class cloud operational experience for customers uh, across the, the board with HPE GreenLake. And uh, earlier this year, we unveiled this cloud operational experience for data. And for customers, that experience starts with a cloud console where they can essentially discover services, consume services, that overall operational and support experience is transformed with HPE InfoSight. And now we're transforming this experience where there, you know, the, any organization out there that's looking to get data-driven insights into what should they do next, where should they place their workloads, how to right-size the infrastructure, and in the process be able to transform how they are working and collaborating with their partners. They're able to do that now with HPE Cloud Physics bringing these data-driven insights for smarter IT decision making. I like this a lot because you know, a lot of the cloud is trial and error. And when you, when you try and you make a mistake, you're, you're paying each time. So this is a, this is a great uh, innovation to really it, ha help clients focus on the things that matter, you know, helping them apply technology to solve their business problems. Guys, thanks so much for coming to theCUBE, appreciate it. Dave, always a pleasure. Thanks very much for having us. And, and keep it right there, we got, we got more content from HPE's GreenLake announcements. Look for the cadence. You know, one of the hallmarks of cloud is the cadence of announcements. We're seeing HPE on a regular basis push out new innovations. Keep it right there for more. <laughs>